Hello, I am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we are continuing with our different offers from the back end, which we talked about last week, and running your book like a business. This week, what I want to do is to take a deeper dive into how to create a course from your book. Now, obviously, this is geared towards those that have created nonfiction books. Typically, these are the type of books that you're using to promote your business. So with that, what you want to do is, first of all, have your book with you. And what you want to do is break down typically around 10 different talking points from your book. Now, if you have more than 10 points, then what you want to do is narrow it down to find the 10 best talking points that you have with your book and then use each of those for a module in your book. Now, on this week's episode, we are gonna take a deeper dive. I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about how you can create your own online course. As I mentioned before, I do not recommend Udemy or Teachable. I suggest you do it yourself. Purchase an account on Vimeo.com, V-I-M-E-O. You're gonna get at least five gigs of data per week, depending on which account you go with. It will typically cost you around $60 per year for the account. With some of the business accounts, it can go up a little bit higher, but I do recommend going that course. What you also want to do is when you do have your episodes uploaded, you want to go to the privacy section and you want to make sure that your module is only available via a private link. That way, your information is private because there are people out there that do like to take content from courses and potentially try to resell them. So it's one of the things that you want to do to protect your IP, your intellectual property, is to make sure that you have it set up via a private link. And that'll make your content secure on Vimeo. The other thing is you do need to purchase video capture software. What I use is Debut. It's $25 for the license. And just type in Google, Debut video capture software. It's the easiest way to go with this path. What you'll also need to do is to have a microphone. I suggest the ATR2100. You can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it on eBay. It's really easy to find online. Most podcasters and course creators use it. I've actually used mine for the entire book publishing implementation program. I've used it for multiple audiobooks, and I'm using it right now as we are doing this podcast episode. It is a great mic. It's typically going to cost you between $60 and $100, but it is well worth the investment. It will last you for years. Another thing that I suggest is look at getting a stand for the microphone. I use what's called, it's like a boom scissor stand. I know it's kind of a strange title, but you can actually find those on Amazon and typically they will offer packages where you can get the stand with the microphone. The stand will actually clip to your desk and it's great. That's where I keep it all the time. It's really easy for me to bring my laptop in, plug and play and get started. I also use this for Skype calls with my clients and I also use it for the live group coaching calls. So it's a great thing to have. I highly recommend getting that because it's gonna really help you in your own journey to get going here. And then when you use Debut, all you do is connect the microphone to the laptop, follow the directions and how to record via screen capture. It really is an easy process. And for those of you out there that are procrastinating about this and thinking, oh, I can't do this, I have everything perfect, just take the plunge. You've heard me talk about this during web classes and different podcasts that I've been on. Uh, one great example was recently with Nick Loper with the Side Hustle Nation show because that's the main thing I told him was take the plunge. And he did a, a recap episode 
on his podcast over the past week where he took advice from multiple guests over the past year. And that's the one big piece of advice he took from me was don't be afraid to take the plunge. And I mentioned this in our episode last week. Feel free to reach out to me. You can actually reach out to me on my website at getpublishedpodcast.com. You can also email me. I don't think many podcasters actually give up their email address. I'm going to do it right now. Brody at brodyconsultantgroup.com. My last name, B-R-O-D-I-E at brodyconsultantgroup.com. You can personally email me if you are stuck or if you have any questions about this. I'll respond within 24 hours. I always guarantee 24 hours that I will get back with you because this is not difficult to do. The next thing you need is PowerPoint. You can also use Open Office if you prefer. I like PowerPoint. One of the main things is make sure that your slides are visual. You want something that's going to get the attention of your clients. You want it to look good. I like stock images and you can find a lot of royalty free images on Google Images. You can also find them on several additional sites. But I suggest starting on Google and going from there. But you can find many great images. Don't make it dull. You want to have the attention of your client because when you do have slides, it's just like having a book cover. You want something that is going to get the attention and it's gonna keep their attention. Engagement's key. Think about when you're in class. Did a great looking slide get your attention or did a dreary black and white looking slide with standard information? You always want to engage your audience. So those are different things that you can do when creating your course. You need to have a mic. You need to have video capture software like Debut. You need to have a PowerPoint slide. Those are the three biggest elements that you need to be able to create the course. In regards to your content, what you need is your book. You need to have 10 talking points and don't overthink it. Just go into the talking point, go through your chapter, and then elaborate more because there's no way we can get everything out just in a book. But when you have it in the course, you can take what probably took around 10 minutes of audio to create a chapter into 30 to 45 minutes of great content with further elaboration and with updates. And it just takes things to the next level. But I do not recommend having more than 10 video modules. 10 is more than enough. And if you want to do less, that's fine. You could do 6 to 10. I typically recommend having 10 solid video modules where you can elaborate on each of these points. The other thing I talked about was if you are going to have this type of online course, having this group coaching program, this implementation program, then you do want to offer plenty of support. Now with that, you need to do two things. One, when you are sending out the weekly modules, make sure that you send them all out on the same day. I typically send mine out on Thursdays. The other thing, you want to offer live group coaching calls with your program. My modules are once a week for 10 weeks, but as an additional bonus, I do live group coaching calls with the program. I used to do it for five calls only. Now I do them for 26 over the next year. It gives your clients additional support and that way they don't have to worry 10 weeks later going, well, where do I go from here? Well, you have live group coaching calls every two weeks. The other thing is you want to constantly update the modules in your program. In the book publishing implementation program, we are constantly making updates. When we have a book launch and we find something works better, we make that change. If we find new information in regards to the book cover or finding a new uh, person that we utilize to do our formatting or editing, we make sure that information is updated. You want your information to be as current as possible. And that can also help when you're promoting the course with your program going, hey, we do have lifetime updates included. Another thing you'll want to do is to create a private Facebook community. 
and it's not that difficult. All you need to do is create one on Facebook. It'll take you a few minutes. Create a Facebook group, and that way it can be private. It's exclusive to the people that signed up for your program. The other thing is, for those that missed the live group coaching calls, you can actually put the Vimeo link in the, the Facebook group once the live group coaching call is done. It's really easy to do. Now for the live group coaching call, you can use Zoom. Typically what I do is I use GoToWebinar. Now they are a little bit more expensive, but they work. They're consistent and you're really gonna have problems. We've been doing calls for the last year. We have only ever had one challenge with a call. And I've done these calls on the rooftop of the Shade Hotel out Redondo Beach. I've done live group coaching calls in Maui, in Las Vegas, in my suite that had terrible Wi-Fi. We made it work where you can do these calls from anywhere in the world. But I do recommend go to webinar. You do get what you pay for. The nice thing is they'll do the recording for you. They'll typically have the recording ready within 20 minutes after the call. Then all you do is take that recording, you upload it to Vimeo, and then once it's done, you send out the link in the private Facebook group. It's a great way for engagement with your group where you can have members of your community engage with each other, but you can be on there constantly. You can have the live group coaching call replays available. And the great thing is when you have someone new to the course, then they get to see all the live group coaching replays for the last year. So it gives them a lot more value with that. But as I said before, with this, the riches are in the niches. So you have to figure out and what exactly you want to cover. With me, it was book publishing and it was a game changer, especially with this one-to-many concept, which is what we're doing with our book publishing implementation program. Because the main thing is you must have a game plan. You have to figure out where you want to go and you need to have a solid plan to get there. So this is the end of our episode. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to our podcast. If you have any questions about this, I'm serious. Feel free to contact me. You can go to my website at getpublishedpodcast.com or you can contact me personally at brody at brodyconsultinggroup.com. Have a great day and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode next week. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.